today, we're switching it up. We're gonna do something completely different. Gold binoculars. Wait, no. We may have gold binoculars, but we also have two revolvers with which we're going to try to take one of every single North American deer species in the game with a couple of specific rules. Each deer needs to score a gold or higher, needs to be taken with a direct hard shot, and done so with open sights. By my count, there are seven species, so let's get after it. And for an added bit of challenge, we're going to do this completely in multiplayer, so that way we can't just change the time to the drink time of whatever we're after, and we're always going to use the weaker pistol when possible. So for instance, trying to get this whitetail buck, we're going to have to use the 45 and not the more powerful 44. So getting into range is going to be one thing. Making the shot with the iron sights, especially in the reeds, is going to be another. I can just barely see the antlers there. So if we leave a marker, I think we're marking past him though. At least we have an idea. And I think what we're going to do is just try to crawl into that brush. And hopefully we can spot him, and even more so than that, hopefully he's facing us. Oh, he is way closer than I thought. He's at 40 right there. I don't see how we get a better opportunity than this. Let's actually get that marker out of the way. Grab the 45. And can we spot him with a pistol? We can. So with his head up... No way! Do we actually get that on the first try? It's going to be really useful information to see where we actually hit. But if we have Whitetail out of the way, that's a huge, huge advantage for us. That was a heart, liver, and stomach shot. Just center punch the heart, too. Not bad. 235 scoring buck. 41 meters, 45 cavalry. Gets the job done, no problem whatsoever. So good deal. There are, if I'm not mistaken, three maps, and now six more species to go. And we're going to try to get everything done on Layton that we possibly can. Meaning, when we go to Yukon for caribou, caribou are, by the way, a deer species, moose have to be done here on Layton first. I spy the antlers of what would be a guaranteed gold moose, 206 to 260, max weight range, and I thought of another rule that I'm going to hate by the end of this, uh, so we're going to do it anyway. Every shot has to be at least as far as the last one, and not like 0.2 meters further, at least like a little bit. And uh, that could really cause some issues, especially in this case. That guy's resting, we have to alert him. Depending on when we alert him, the shot has to happen fast. So I'm pretty sure we're spotting like the tree in front of him. I think he's at like 45. That's not even the right one though. Oh boy. Uh, that's the one there? That's at a range where I'd actually want it to be. And maybe we can actually make use of the marker? That's close. Guess we're gonna have to go with that. So let's get the 44. We're gonna zero for 50. Try to run around a little bit, but not get too close. So he's alert. He to stand up. That bear might. I really hope that bear doesn't attack us. Why is he laying down still? Okay, that took forever in a day. Will he face us? I don't know what he's doing. He's back to like resting. We need to get that bear out of here because that could be a problem. Back to alert, still says 40 to 50. I don't know why these animations are so unbelievably slow. Okay, he's back standing, but we need him to face our direction. So gonna keep on getting his attention. I think, I can't even tell where he's facing with the open sights. Might have to try to get him broadside. What is he doing? This was not in the job description. We hit the ground? That was a hard shot though. I, okay, um, I think we have to deal with this first. Why are they so weird in this area? I don't know if it's the trees or what. Did either of those even get a vital? The second one did, so it'll bring him down. <laughs> we'll worry about that in a minute. And I don't know if we should just get that cow too. There's kind of a uh, harvest three animals with a handgun challenge that we can win by taking out both of those. So I guess we'll go for it. But that had to be a hard shot on the four. I didn't consider, like, what happens if we missed the first time. I don't know if we missed as much as we just hit something that was in the way. Question is, are we at at least, say, like, 42 meters? I'm not going to put, like, a specific number on it, but it can't be 40.3 or something like that. 46? Oh, God, I'll take it, but that's exactly what I was talking about. 
Now the next shot's gonna be at least 46. Hard and single lung, not bad, 220 score. And this is the probably longest segment of the entire video. Feels like just it would never end. <laughs> just kept on doing all kinds of weird stuff. But we got the shot, got this guy. Couldn't even see what we were doing. What, did we hit the antler? I can't tell. It didn't hit the shoulder, I don't think. Yeah, it definitely didn't. Antler or ear shot, I guess, because why not? The way things, everything, everything is going. And uh, a little challenge winner. On to Elk and Blacktail. Well, this is both good and bad. We've got, I think, a couple of potential gold Blacktail up here. Maybe even more than a couple. The thing is, the one I'm most concerned about is Roosevelt Elk, and we're going to be pushing it to maybe over 50 meters until we can even attempt that shot. So we're still going to try to get one of these. And why are they deciding to leave? Head zone's not over. So maybe they're just going to move around a little bit. I'm going to assume they're not going too far. Well, that might be a problem. That's the buck that I wanted to get. I'm not sure we can even be in a position where we can see at least 50 meters. Oh, there's another decent one there, though. Hold up. He's facing the other way, but we know that range is about right. Going back to feeding, maybe. What is he doing? I guess can try to alert him like the moose. I have no idea if we can get this. I'm going to try to let him take one more step. You are kidding me. I don't know what the range was. I actually cannot believe we're 3 for 3. The only miss so far has been the moose. And I am i actually kind of think the shot might have been off, so it may have helped us. But then we still ended up with the follow-up getting him. That is insane. That was a hard shot. Double lung heart and liver. Ooh, barely though. Like, I thought we aimed, if anything, too low. Like, really favored low. We just got through, like, the arteries at the top of the heart. But there's one species remaining here on Leighton Lakes, and it's the one that I'm most concerned with. That was 50.14 meters, which is much better this time. We weren't increasing the distance by 6 meters. It was only 4, I think. And now we gotta try to hard shot a Roosevelt Elk. This time it will be for the first time, or the second time, I guess, actually, with the 44. And we gotta do it from probably 52 meters or better. Uh, okay. I don't even have a weapon for that. There, I mean, there is a revolver. <laughs> There's a uh, 410 slash 45 pistol. Wonder what the odds are we can find him again if we run up there and grab that. Okay, there he is there. I'm not sure. He just like started running really fast right as we spot him. I'm not really sure why. As long as we can get in range, we'll go ahead and try to blast him though. All we need to do is hit him with any of this 410 bird shot and it'll get the job done. But it's not a really powerful shot. So we'll try to scoot a little bit closer. We're into 30 there. Zero this for 25. That actually insta-killed him. I highly doubt that's going to be a hard shot. But uh, a little bonus whitetail jackrabbit, why not? Diamond at 6.48. We literally... No way. One pellet hit him in the foot? <laughs> if that's our one bad shot today, I will take it. Pretty darn cool. Alright, I'm going to leave this up to you guys. Should we put this in the latent trophy cabin? Or no? We can save it for the specific latent trophy cabin series and have to find another one. Or we can add this guy. I'll have a poll or something maybe on the community tab when this video drops. But we're going to tax that for sure. And what do you know? Run around here doing a goofy challenge because that's a actually pretty darn rare diamond. That could be it. But it's really not a great spot again. Like just the mere fact that they're sort of at the top of that hill. If we drop down in here and try to get to 52-ish meters, I don't know if we're going to be able to see them. I don't think that guy's a gold. I'm pretty sure 276 is the requirement. So we have to get the big four. And really, of all the bulls that I've spotted, he might be in the worst spot to do it. I mean, just, like, how are we going to do this? The only thing I can possibly think of is literally the stand up here. Got a zero for 50. And, like, <laughs> jump in place. Got his attention. 
but can we get a hard shot? Because that is way easier said than done. Can you not be exactly in the way? I don't think it would insta-kill him that time. We didn't get the hard shot. So the thing about it is, we can't really learn from it. Unless that would have gotten a lung, I guess there's a chance of it. But my guess is it probably ended up being a flesh wound. I don't even... Oh no, we did get a vital. So we can at least find out what happened and how close we were. Was he all the way down here? That might have been a further shot than I thought. So I just want to let the record show, it was not my idea to change the time to elk drink time. Because I feel like that's sort of cheating the challenge if it's my own idea or if I like suggest it. But anyway, how close were we? 55 meters? I'd actually rather be a little shorter. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was pretty darn close. Admittedly, we got lucky last time. That's crazy though. I keep on thinking, if anything, like I feel like I'm aiming here. Maybe we do have to add, aim just a touch lower because it was the same thing with the blacktail. I thought we maybe were too low and it was through the top of the heart. If that round were like, a, I don't know, maybe a 50 caliber round, just a little bit bigger around, it might have touched the heart anyway. That was so, so close. I'm not even really upset about that though because I feel like everything we've been doing so far is working and we just got to maybe aim a touch lower. So the problem now, of course, is the fact that it's just completely dark. That guy definitely would make gold. And I think that one's got a chance at it, but we'll focus on the four. And this time we're going to try to be a little bit closer. I do think the strategy of alerting it is the move. It's just going to be really hard to perfectly place that shot broadside when we're already kind of dealing with aiming at the correct height. So I think probably around this range we want to start running because we need to get him alert and then for us to stop right around 52. So he's probably going to walk a little closer to us. That's the wrong gun. Boy, can we not see anything. Still alert. As long as he's not alarmed, we can kind of move around a little bit. And I definitely want him to try to face at us. I think oh, now he's alarmed. I guess we try it. Oh, we got it. We actually got it. That took a long time for him to go down. Like, it felt like it was worse than the moose. God, I just realized. Was that really far? That might have been further than it was supposed to be. Okay, it was 52. <laughs> Double lung and heart. I knew this was going to get more and more stressful the further we went on. Because I completely forgot about range on that one. Not bad, though. Like, that's really good performance out of the 44. Through the back of the heart. The fact that it's double lung and heart and he still ran like a decent little bit there. Kind of crazy. So that is everything on Leighton Lakes. Heart shot with revolvers. Plus one diamond rabbit. And only one shot that didn't end up hitting in the heart. And it was just, just nearly grazed it. That's pretty cool. Oh boy. You are kidding me. I'm pretty sure a mountain lion spooked that. I just like looked up, <laughs> he's running out in the open. That's the rack that I really want to diamond up and it almost always trolls. But how are we gonna, like for one, we gotta get in range. They're class five now, we gotta use the 45. That was one of the reasons I put that rule in place because we'd have to use the 45 on mule deer. But we gotta get in range, but not too far. So the rest of this challenge isn't impossible and then somehow try to land a hard shot. Oh my goodness, he is right there. We're kind of at a decent range. This is gonna be so awkward though, because we almost need him to step out from behind that tree. Cause stalking around him is just not realistic. That's not gonna happen. He's probably more like 54 there. And what do we gotta get to? Like at least 54? So I guess we'll kinda run around. See what happens here. Got the 45. I can't even see. That might be a problem. I don't want to spook him. Because it was a pain even finding him. I didn't hear foot. Now he's still in there. I can see him moving around. Okay. Got him respotted. Man, this is a problem that he is just completely invisible in that tree. The one thing that could happen, if he'll just step out of there... We could probably run backwards and make this happen because I think he is going to try to just leave now. All right, this is our best chance. We're a little far. 
Well, that far. Not a hard shot. I hope it's a lung shot at least. If it's not, this could be way, way more problematic. I kind of didn't consider that. Uh, no, we got vitals. Sure. That's probably the best case scenario. So there he is laying up there. And basically with this rack, you just need there to be some kind of additional score. Usually it has to be kind of a wider set rack, so maybe you get a little additional spread credit or something like that. But he's got like the, the double sticker, which is just what I think of when I imagine Trophy Mule Deer. So fingers crossed, I think it was up to 334. Uh, 306. This is almost always the case. Like, what happens is, we kill these level 5s with these racks, they're way shy of diamond, like that's 6 below, and then I'll kill a level 4 at some point that's like 310, basically the exact same rack. Not really even close. Oh boy, that was 62 meters though. Had we somehow clutched that and made that shot, frankly it would have caused us problems for the last couple of species, so no such luck either on the shot or the level 5 making diamond. It's just such a cool looking mule deer though. Like, I want one for the lodge. Are you serious? Isn't that a 5 rack too? Sure enough is 304 to 365. What is that though? Oh, it's the hind of an elk. I thought there was a albino mule deer in there as well. So that is... I think that's the old rack that used to be like bugged with the brow tines that had like huge lines going everywhere. That one's got a much better chance. I guess here we go again. I was over here trying to get wherever he is, a little level four. I think it's the one next to that doe that we can't spot. Yeah, him. That would have been a gold. One thing's for sure, whether or not that five makes diamond, he's certainly the gold part that we need. And maybe since he's sitting still, this won't be so bad. I think we're about at that distance where we got to kind of charge at him and get him to go alert. So we're gonna try this. Man, I kinda think the marker's in the way. We're gonna try this and move the marker and also cost us all of our distance. That's kind of a problem. He went alarm? He was about to spook, no way. That might've been too far, but I think we got it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got the hard shot, but oh no. <laughs> that was, I gotta think, 60, 65? There's only two species left, unless I've miscounted. I think we just hard shot a potential diamond mule deer at like 60 plus with the 45 pistol. That's a troll as well though. <laughs> Heart and lung, we got it that time. Oh boy, six, let's call it 62 meters, easier to remember. That's, uh, that's a, a bit of a change from what we've been working with. I'm surprised he trolled by that bad. I'm pretty confident that's the same rack, two separate potential diamond racks, two different trolls, around the same weight class, and we still need a gold Rocky Mountain Elk Hill here from Silver Ridge Peaks, and it is getting pretty dark, so we'll be on our way. I can't actually believe we hit that. He was literally ready to spook, so we just had to try it. So we're gonna try a slightly different approach this time, mostly because we really can't see that well to begin with. We're gonna get into like 66-ish, so probably about here. And we're just going to kind of stand up and jump in place. I want him to notice us, but running at him, I feel like that's not going to work as good when we can't hardly see. So he's stepping towards us. Oh, he ran so fast. We didn't even end up hitting him. I don't know how worth it it is to track that particular elk. Because it might be problematic to like get into position again. That is so unfortunate. I feel like we had that kind of lined up. This is the weirdest hunt. I can't find an elk to save my life after that. There's an albino bighorn out here. And yet again, like we're in the same situation, at least we have an ethical weapon this time, but as the rabbit earlier, we still have to get close enough to make a good shot on this. And who knows where it's gonna go. Well, this is the herd. And we've got some of them alert here. The thing is, I can't see anything, and I don't remember the Esmond. I know it was a level 2 female, so that can maybe help us out a little bit. Doesn't look like any of those. I mean, it could literally be any of them anywhere in that brush. 
thing is too, when you alert animals that are in a nervous zone, they sometimes just change their mind and start to walk away. That might be what's happening. Now they're kind of going towards us, which is maybe good. That's her, okay. We use the 45. They are a class five now. If we get the right gun, we'll use the 45. That should be a good shot. I'm not even worried about hard shots here. Just want to get her because trying to get an elk has become a major pain. What are the odds that one has a chance of being gold? That would be insane. If tracking the albino all this way led us to an elk that could actually do this. So we'll slow it down a little bit. But just the way this is all gone is absurd. Silver albino female bighorn. Almost got a hard shot. Had the, like, height correct. Just way too far back. Double lung and liver still, and we will absolutely tax that. Pretty darn cool. So take two. Elk hard shot 62 plus meters. And it's been like more than 12 hours. It got pretty late trying to track down that albino bighorn. So back again today. And I'm just hoping whatever skill we had in making all those hard shots yesterday is going to carry over. So this mountain lion's doing everything it can to mess with us. And I really don't know if we can use the same strategy, like trying to get them to face us. Might be a lot easier said than done, but there's a bunch of fours at least. And the question is, can we get something lined up? Like that kind of works and he's alarmed. He was about to flee. Boy, I feel like that had to be, that, is it? I don't know, he dropped so fast. I'm really not sure about the distance either. We'll go and see. Boy, I sure hope that gets it done because I did not foresee how big of a problem mountain lions would be in this. I did spend some time last night. High bleed rate is certainly a encouraging sign here. But I spent some time last night trying to find one after we had missed the one that fled before we got the shot off. Anytime I'd get on some decent tracks, mountain lions constantly spooked him. So please be a hard shot. Oh my goodness, straight through the heart. <laughs> 63.6 meters. That fulfills all the requirements here on Silver Ridge Peaks through the bottom of the heart with the 44. And I mean barely. We were really close on, I don't even remember what species now. This time, just close enough. So the only thing that remains is caribou over on Yukon Valley. And now we're looking at the range of 65 meters plus. Quite a spot we found ourselves in. Kind of a steep hill here, but a level four caribou that should make it. So I'm gonna go to like 73 meters and we're gonna try that strategy we did with the Rocky Mountain Elk that spooked. I think if we can keep it spotted, we can actually see when he goes alert. Problem is, will he go alert? I need to run back and forth a little bit. Trying to get them to be alert has been like a huge part of this entire challenge. This was my worry though. Can we even do that? Maybe like that? <laughs> oh. Dropped him. <laughs> it's probably a hard shot. I'm concerned about the distance. I don't know if that was 65 meters. If it actually was, that's gonna be insane. I feel like we're running kind of far, maybe? I don't know. He was like leaning downhill to where we couldn't get to the heart. We had to wait till he stepped closer and that's the concern. 67 meters, we did it. <laughs> that's amazing. Through the top of the heart, double lung, 359 scoring gold. That was like the most fun for any challenge we've ever done in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I think, what, three misses? The moose that we ultimately hit. The elk that got away, and the first level five mule deer. It was like a perfect combination of difficult enough that we whiffed on numerous occasions and a bunch of different distances, but not so hard that it was ever like frustrating, annoying. It was just a lot of fun to actually go out and do this. So I guarantee you, we're gonna come back and do this for like maybe European deer species or something like that, where we can get another seven, eight, something like that. But that was so much fun. So. Be sure to check out the community tab pool for the uh, Whitetail Jackrabbit. Whether or not we put that in the latent trophy cabin, I'll leave that entirely up to you guys. And because both of the Mule Deer trolled, nothing to go back to the trophy lodge for. But man, that was seriously so much fun. Highly recommend just doing that. Uh, if you're looking for a, a different way to play the game, something to switch it up. Little arbitrary rules like that. That was legitimately so much fun. 
And uh, on that note, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.